Hi guys, ever wonder what 18 months through Africa in a tuk-tuk look like? Well, look no further. We're Tuk South, a self-made film crew that spent the last 18 months driving these two battered up old beauties from Kenya to Africa's southernmost tip. Now, tuk-tuks. Without a doubt, the worst conceivable vehicle for a journey of this nature. They break the whole time, get stuck in every average sized puddle, and love to fall over. However, perfect for the job, wouldn't trade them for the world. So what is the job? Well, to try raise money and throw some light on the importance of Africa's wildlife ranges. These men and women are the unsung heroes of the continent. Operating in the shadow realm of conservation, they are the boots on the ground that are safeguarding the natural world for generations to come. Our goal has been to highlight the invaluable work of people conserving our planet and to bring that world to the attention of a much younger audience. To achieve these lofty ambitions, the solution was simple. Buy two of the most ridiculous vehicles we could think of and drive them around the world. So far, we've coaxed our unwieldy steeds from their natural environment in Nairobi's back streets across 23,000 kilometers of Africa's most potholed, corrugated, and frankly rubbish roads to Cape Town on the southern tip of Africa. We flicked them through splendid isolation in salt pans and deserts, perused tropical jungles and ancient tea fields, even dragged them to the base of smoking stratovolcanoes and snow-capped giants. Determined to make this journey as difficult as possible, we managed to hit every rainy season in every country we went to, neglected to wear mosquito repellent, and point-blank refused to plan anything until the day before, favoring dirt roads to tarmac and the side of the road to hotel life. I don't think our bodies knew what they were signing up for. To be fair, I don't think the tuk-tuks did either. So aside from our standard tuk-tuk adventure footage, we have dedicated much of our time to filming grassroots community initiatives that are trying to make the world a better place. Using Tuk South's social media presence, we've managed to shine our growing spotlight onto the incredible work of people going further across Africa. We've seen how a craft brewery is tackling human wildlife conflict in the Okavango Delta using beer. There's a boxing gym in Victoria Falls that fosters street kids, educates them, and teaches them to be able to roll with life punches. Community-led conservation models have popped up everywhere, ranging from the protection of pangolins by the Kalahari sand bushmen to that of Tanzania's lakeside chimps by the Tongwe people. We've spent time with a Maasai women's group that makes reusable sanitary pads for young girls in their community, cross paths with a dedicated group of Tanzanians that are tackling plastic pollution by making recycled furniture, and even got the invite to a wonderful skate park that connects orphan children and disenfranchised youth through the beautiful mixing bowl of skating. Turns out, when you put your nose to the ground, this continent is just full of good eggs. <laughs> In 2023, the realms of National Geographic and Planet Earth have been traded out for TikTok and Instagram. Through our content, we want to expose the social media generations to the wonders of our planet, be it the wild spaces or the fantastic folk. The natural world is for everyone, and everyone should want to be a part of it. In modern life, many have become disconnected from this truth, and we want to encourage younger people to embrace nature in all her raw beauty and return to the outdoors. So far, our videos have been viewed by upwards of 10 million people. If even a small percentage of these views have led to people going outside and appreciating Mother Earth and her guardians, our mission so far has been a success. Now, this is by no means the end for us here at Tick South. Having reached Cape Town, we are laddering on the finishing touches to a plan that is going to take us across the oceans to South America. Here, we'll be spurring our noble steeds from the southern tip of Patagonia to the northern reaches of our planet in the Arctic Circle. Ended to undergoing life-changing surgery, bodies are being rebuilt, stickers are being stuck. So all I can say is, stay tuned.